So we gathered in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. So, good morning. Good morning, morning Father. So we're celebrating the feast of St. Thomas a Becket uh, this morning. And uh, so the, uh, and we've been asked to pray for Auntie Little Jordan. So, uh, and let us ask the Lord to listen to all our prayers today. When we allow fear to keep us from doing what is needed to help others in a loving way, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. When we allow our selfishness to keep us from sharing our gifts with the hungry and the poor, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. When we fail to recognize the good in others, the beauty in others, and the light of God in others, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who gave the martyr St. Thomas of Becket the courage to give up his life for the sake of justice, grant through his intercession that renouncing our life for the sake of, the, of Christ in this world, we may find it in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet I do write a new commandment to you which holds true in him and among you, for the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in the darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord Bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. The Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are his sanctuary. The hairs were loud, yeah, the earth rejoices. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord Glory to you, Lord. Lord. When the days were completed for their, for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, 
Every male that opens a womb shall be consecrated to, to the Lord, and to offer sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictates of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when his parents brought the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him in his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of the people of Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and the rise of many in Israel, and to the sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today is the feast of uh, Thomas a Becket, the, uh, or Thomas of London, and uh, so the, um, uh, he was born in London, and it's, uh, he was born 50 years after uh, the Norman conquest of England, and so the background uh, that he's born into, because um, the, the Norman uh, army that invaded England, it, uh, each baron uh, it was made up of barons, and each baron had their own army. And uh, so after they conquered, after uh, uh, Harold was defeated, the, um, uh, they carved up England, and the barons uh, all had a, a section <coughs> of England. And uh, the church at the time was uh, Saxon. And, uh, and so at the, this time as well, most of the church personnel were Saxon. Uh, not Norman, and so there was a um, a lot of uh, infighting uh, between uh, the Normans and the Saxons, and uh, so the uh, so the tension was in the state and in uh, in the church, and this is the background, and this is where uh, like the um, uh, how we get uh, beef from cows, uh, because the Norman word for for a cow. Uh, uh, was both, but the Saxons who looked after the cows in the field, uh, it, it was uh, a cow, and so uh, so the norm when the Normans sat down to eat, they ate both, and so you get beef from cows, and the same with mutton and uh, sheep, it's uh, and so it's from uh, from that time, and uh, so the. Um, and uh, a lot of the German words, uh, the, Sa cause, uh, the Saxons, Anglo-Saxons, they were Teutonic, and a lot of the, uh, the German words uh, were looked down upon in favour of uh, French words. And so, the, uh, so there was a lot of turmoil in the state and in the church. And uh, Henry II was ruling England. And uh, so the, um, uh, Thomas, the... Um, yeah, he went to school and he, he, uh, uh, he went to work first for the sheriffs, as a, a cleric in the uh, sheriffs. And then uh, the, uh, Thomas uh, Theobald, uh, Archbishop Theobald, took him over and he joined his household. And uh, so Theobald saw the potential in uh, Thomas and sent him off to Bologna and uh, Auxerre in France uh, to study canon law. And uh, and so the um, so he's working there, and uh, Henry II got to know him, and he was a uh, appointed archdeacon of uh, Canterbury, which was quite an influential um, uh, post at that time. And uh, so the uh, because uh, it was the deacon, uh, the archdeacon who 
practically ran the church. Uh, the, um, the archbishop had the title and all the rest, but uh, the archdeacon is the one who carried it all out and made sure everything was done. And so the, um, and eventually Henry II uh, made him uh, Chancellor of England. And uh, so 400 years later, uh, we get Henry VIII and Thomas More. And there's a distinct parallel between uh, uh, the, two, the two stories. And uh, so the, um, uh, but at this time as well, the Gregorian reform came from Italy and France into England. And the Gregorian reform was kind of separating the church from the state. And the church was becoming more autonomous. The, um, and that was uh, very much part of the, uh, um, the Gregorian reform, was making the church more autonomous uh, from the state. But Henry, uh, he wanted, uh, like his father Henry I, wanted total control over the political and the church. And so what he did was he appointed Thomas uh, to be um, the Archbishop of Canterbury. Uh, but Thomas uh, took the role very seriously and turned out to be the complete opposite of what Henry wanted. And so instead of uh, controlling the church uh, for Henry, he became a thorn in the side for Henry. And uh, at, at one dinner, one, one time, Henry got angry and said, will no man rid me of this cleric? And so four nights of the, the court, uh, they rode down to uh, Canterbury and Thomas refused to submit to the king and so they murdered him. Mm -hmm. And we get that classic um, piece of work by T.S. Eliot, Murder in the Cathedral. And, uh, and so that's a, a classic work. And uh, so, um, so Thomas was buried and uh, very soon his uh, grave became a shrine and the uh, a place of uh, pilgrimage and people were coming from all over uh, England and all over Europe. Um, and so Henry II realized the political error he made, and so he did public penance uh, for uh, having uh, Thomas uh, murdered. And so, the, um, so we skip 400 years, and we have the parallel between Henry VIII and Thomas More. And Henry VIII saw the parallel between the two stories, the two Thomases. And so he ordered that in the Missal that the, uh, the Saint page uh, for Thomas a Becket should be ripped out. And, uh, but most of them were made of vellum in that day. And so they couldn't rip it out. So what they did is they covered that page because um, uh, Henry VIII didn't want anyone seeing uh, the, the Saint day. With, uh, and um, so, and if you go to the British Library now uh, and you look for one of the missiles from that time of Henry VIII, uh, it'll automatically open at the page of Thomas a Becket because they had to put something over the page to cover it. And so it, it was double thick. But over the years, it's become translucent and now it's the best page in the missal. So it uh, backfired on Henry too. <laughs> so the, um, so the, uh, uh, so let us pray now this morning. Let us pray for all who teach and preach the faith that came to us from the apostles. We pray. Lord, hear us. We pray for all church leaders who defend the integrity of the church with their lives. We pray. Lord, hear us. We pray that church and state would work with each other to procure the best possible programs for the people. We pray. Lord, hear us. Let us pray that the Lord will bless all the catechists who pass on the faith to the next generation during this coming year. We pray. Lord, hear us. Let us pray that the vaccine will be very effective in ridding the virus from society. We pray. 
Lord, hear us. And let us make our own special prayer now to the Lord. Father, you have given us the task of passing on the faith to the next generation. Help us to do this diligently and in a way that the next generation understands. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. I forgot the water. Let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. And let us pray, O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may faithfully be united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. On, for on this feast, the awful mystery through the invisible is is his own divine nature. He has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time so that, rising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with angels we sing the hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink and this, this cup, we, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties, awaiting joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So peace, peace, peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So I was talking about the Holy Family on uh, Sunday. And it reminded me of when I was uh, young and my mother uh, came to me and said, uh, John, she says, there was two apple pies in the pantry, now there's one, can you explain? And so I said, hmm, I didn't see the second one. <laughs> so let us ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. Thank you.